Okay, artists, in this uh, video, we are going to be taking our loom and we've drawn the lines in an alternating pattern. Um, so every other vertical has lines on it. And the pattern is so that the middle section here, so these two strips with the green, they are in between each of the pink lines, okay? So we're gonna be doing our cutting. The cutting takes some care, it takes some concentration. So my first step is I'm going to fold back so I see the first two strips. The other side will look like this. So I've got the first two strips here and I am going to cut from the fold to the dot, right? And I know for me, if I am talking while I'm cutting or drawing, I tend to make mistakes. I cut too far, I make the wrong cut that I didn't mean to make. So while I'm cutting, I am not talking because I don't want to confuse my brain. Okay, now when I open it up, the cuts go through Vertical two and three. Vertical one doesn't have any cuts in it. My line is on vertical two and vertical three has a mirror image, right? So I'm going to repeat and do that for the other set, two sets. And because it's complicated pattern, I wanna be careful I almost just ripped into that line. So again, that's why concentrating is important. Looking at what I am cutting as I'm cutting. Obviously you can edit and revise. If a line is too complicated to cut easily, simplify it, right? So now I have one is blank, two and three are mirror image, four and five are mirror image, right? And then I'm to um, the last two here. And again, I wanna be careful I don't cut through a previous section. So now I have my um, three sections here. Each one has a symmetrical pattern inside of it. And when I bring it like this so that they are mountain folds, right? In origami, we have mountains that point up and valleys that are down. And the two edges on the outside of our loom are holding it all together. They don't have any cuts in them. Okay, so the next step is to create some patterns and designs. So you're gonna be filling in in an alternating pattern. Now, what final copy will look like when you weave your weft, so the watercolor explorations, when you weave those through, is gonna look something like this. So when I start to draw my patterns, I am going to want to do an alternating pattern 
Okay. So I'm thinking about, I'm going to start with um, a pattern inspired by something that I see in the room. So let's see here. I am going to start at the bottom and work my way up. You might start at the top and work your way down. I recommend you pick a system or a pattern though. Okay, so um, I'm looking at these little crates here that have a rectangular pattern to them. So I'm just going to go ahead and this is something pattern making that can be relaxing. It does not need to be speedy. So I'm taking my time. Um, And these crates have this sort of cool um, pattern inside. So I'm just going to bring that in. So it's not just a grid. Gives a little something to it so that the squares become sort of this oval with this diamond sort of shape in the center. If you've done neurographic art, this is this pattern that is a functional design pattern on the crate, right? Also has a um, an aesthetic to it, right? So going through, and then um, creating a pattern based on <clears throat> something that I am wearing, clothing. So I'm looking at my shoes right now and the shoelaces. Now I'm going to do an AB pattern here. So I do a pattern in this section, nothing in this section, a pattern in this section. So thinking about that shoelacing pattern, um, oh boy, okay. It crosses this way. And this line is going to cross under, right? That's part of the patterning. And apparently I was consistent, so. Oh, and there I wasn't, right? That's where slowing down is important. But because I am the pattern maker, <laughs> I'm gonna make that part of the pattern now. <laughs> so. That's how we solve those problems. <clears throat> and I'm going to make my next pattern based on um, weather. And it is rainy and misty outside today. So I am going to just create a inspired by rainy misty pattern. Maybe you are looking forward to some sunshine, and so you are going to make a sunny pattern or a rainbow pattern, or maybe you're hoping for lots of snow. Okay, um, I might just add a little bit like, you know, what is mist? How do I gonna show mist as a pattern in here? Okay, and then I'll do um, a pattern based on season on seasons, and I'm going to go with um, summery, and I think of summer as hot and lots of sunshine and humidity. So. And it's kind of fun is to sort of run some of these patterns off so that you don't have the whole thing, right? So half circle here. I could have done that down here with my raindrops, right? Um, so moving into my next strip here, my ha pattern of patterns has to be opposite. So I did this AB, so now I'm going to do BA. So I'm going to be opposites. So here I'm going to do a pattern based on an animal. And I'm choosing a fish. 
and fish scales. Now here I want I might move the paper a little bit so that I can see the lines so that I stay inside of my um, section here. And then I'll just continue. So here I'm going to do a pattern based on an insect. Um, and I'm just going to do, um, I don't know, I thought I was going to do a little bee, but apparently I'm doing an ant. I don't know why. Two, three, one, two, three. Should have done a mosquito for all the mosquitoes that keep biting me. Okay, um, let's see. I can get one more in here. Okay, and then I'll do my last one in this row will be here and I will do, um, I think I'll do an autumn pattern. So I'm just going to do some falling leaves. So patterns can be regular and irregular, so very geometric, very regular. Here I'm going for a pattern and it's not quite as regular. It's got a little more of an irregular patterning to it. Things are falling, but it's a pattern of leaves, right? Okay, and then I'll continue. So strip two and strip four will be in the same blocks, strip um, three and five, and then continuing the pattern into here until it's finished, okay? Um, when we're done, we'll be cutting the weft watercolor paper that you painted. One side was cool colors, one side was warm colors. So they will be woven into this paper to create a contrasting pattern of this abstract painting with the sort of more formal black and white um, patterning. So now the magic of the book we'll see in the next video. So happy patterning and we'll see you soon.